Hello and welcome back to the SMJ Tech Channel, folks. And today we'll be looking into another feature of VLOOKUP. So we have a use case that I have, uh, you know, some caller IDs, missed calls, which I need to map and search in my contact list. So I created a, an earlier video of VLOOKUP, and today we'll be using the same uh, function for a different purpose. So just to give you an idea, this is what I'm trying to achieve right now. So this is, I have a contact list over here and uh, I want to find out, I have a list of calls that I miss and I want to find out who it was. So this is how it's, uh, I'm standing right now and we'll start work on our sheet and we'll get to the point where we achieve, uh, you know, achieve what we're trying to do. So what I'm going to do, just to explain everyone, I'm going to search a name which matches this number in this list. So this is the short form of what we're trying to achieve. And we'll be using VLOOKUP to achieve this. So to start off our work, since we're going to use a formula, I will press equals to sign and start writing V and it immediately gives me the VLOOKUP function. Now, the first thing I need to provide it is a lookup value. So this is the value that I need to search. Next is the table array. Now, this is the array or the overall, you know, the table where I want to or the source or where I need to search this lookup value. One important thing to understand in VLOOKUP is that it always searches the first column or always matches rather, always matches the first, uh, the value from the first column of the table you give it. So in my case, this is the value that I want to search and this would be the first column of, of uh, VLOOKUP. So I gave it the complete uh, table. You can have multiple columns included as well since I have uh, number and name only. So I'm going to pick these two. And before moving forward, I want to make sure that my source data or the source location that I have given to VLOOKUP doesn't change. Now, why did I say that? One important feature in Excel is whatever formula you apply on a particular cell it and you copy it to the next cell, it will automatically, you know, mold that formula for that particular cell. So what does that mean? For That means that if I apply this complete formula on this column or this cell rather, and I copy it to the next cell on E4, so what it will do, it will change everything in accordance with that. So it will change this D3 to D4. And if I don't have these dollar signs over here, it will change A3 to A4, B14 to B15. So it will automatically increase the numbers in each of these. So it will automatically increase the row numbers. And if I move it on the right hand side further, it will change the column names as well. So in my case, uh, I want to restrict it from doing that. So what we use is a dollar sign uh, before the column name and before the row name as well for both uh, for the entire table. So I want it to apply the same condition every time on this selection and does not uh, you know do not change it for uh, for the upcoming cells. Third input that I need to provide to VLOOKUP is the column index number. Column index means that the column number that I want uh, VLOOKUP to return in case it matches this value. So in my case, this is column number one and this is column number two. So I want column number two to be returned back to me if the value in D3 matches column number one in the VLOOKUP table my apologies and last value that i want to provide is is it's asking me do i want an approximate match so it won't go for the entire number matching or should i need a complete match 
since I want to be the information to be accurate I'll go with false and which means that I want the exact match to be returned so in case it's not exactly matching the value it will not return a successful response so there you go so what happened right here is it went into d3 so vlookup is vertical lookup just for understanding sake so it went to d3 and uh, it picked up this value this caller id and jumped over to this table a3 and b14 so this is that and what it did next is start searching this number so it went to this column columns first index it didn't match so it moved down it didn't match so it keeps moving down until it matches the exact number so once it matches so this vertical movement will stop and it will start moving forwards so it then sees which which uh, column do i need in this uh, table it says column number two so it returns back the name from uh, from this column and here i have it so if i select and drag this down it will apply the same to each of these cells and complete the uh, goal that i'm trying to achieve so this was today's video which we uh, created or we use we look up in for you know matching numbers or you know matching numbers and fetching the information relevant to that list or, or, or the task that we're trying to do i hope you like this video so please do keep watching this channel for your helpful tips on excel and other ms office items until our next video please do take care of yourselves and allah hafiz